but so we have made time because we want to come in and do the and let's start the last talk. Okay, sorry um, for keep you guys so late. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't want you si uh, want you guys to suffer. But anyway, um, so what we're trying to do here is that uh, okay, I just want to um, um, remind you a, a question um, in Ian's talk, right? So what we're trying to do is that uh, the following. So basically, I mean, you want to do you want to say you're using GIT construct moduli. And Ian yeah, said that two situations is being done. First is the curve case. The dimension equals one case. Right? It's mount for the key sector. And the dimension two, OK. Uh, so we're going to restrict the situation, kx example. OK? So I'm just going to talk about the, the manifold with kx example. Dimension two case is by key sector. So a dimension higher, I mean, it's kind of very hard. But actually, there are progresses. OK, so uh, probably Ian forgot to mention. One is uh, a feedback. I mean, uh, feedback. Uh, he, 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 he tried to use GIT to, a uh, GIT not so canonical, but he, he proved that uh, uh, if uh, x with the kx ample say smooth, smooth, then it's stable, it's stable. So in other words, uh, you can use GIT machinery at least uh, to include those smooth guy and form a moduli. Okay, and uh, uh, another part is is done by Donaldson. Donaldson plus uh, the the old work of Yao and Obai. Uh, also, if I assume assume this uh, smooth, then imply that uh, uh, this uh, is uh, actually child stable, and by uh, is child stable, asymptotic child stable, and which implies actually actually implies a Hilbert stable. So I mean, in, in, in another uh, 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 to put it in other words, that basically if you wanted to include uh, the kx ample smooth manifold, you want to put a moduli. Of course, uh, we have a moduli. Right? We have a moduli because it is in, indeed a classical GIT doesn't work. So the thing is that. Uh, now, about the problem we want to, 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 to the compatification, because you want, you want to compatify the moduli. Uh, the moduli. So, compatify the moduli. So, GIT does give you a compatification, right? GIT gives you a compatification. Uh, give you a compatification. But the thing is that uh, when you compatify it, when you compatify it, uh, it's unavoidable you have to include single objects. You have to include single. But all these methods we know is checking the smooth guy. We do not know which single object. So the question is uh, which single object? Uh, single object. Object. Uh, object. Should be included. Uh, included. So, um, yeah? Is not really He's using a line bundle, which is not the, the standard the standard line bundle. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. So, so it's not classical. So this is I, mean, I said that the Donaldson Yao is really the classical, uh, the, the, the 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 polarization on the Hilbert scheme and the Chow scheme. So, so that's uh, so you want to uh, so but uh, but we know that the GIT. So you want to do GIT. What do you do is that you 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 start with x, you have a kx, you raise the power. You embed into Pn, okay? The asymptote by Donaldson Yao, I mean Obain, so we know that R sufficient large, R sufficient large, we have this guy is actually child stable, child stable. So it's child stable, so we can do GIT quotient. But GIT quotient, we give a module. So GIT quotient, GIT for R fixed, sufficient large, uh, give us a uh, give us a compatibility. Right, so so now the question is that uh, we let R tends to infinity if the modular space is stabilized. I mean, you have a commodification, you already, but the, the commodification I denote by R, okay, it depends on R. Then you want to say uh, if, uh, if a limit R goes to infinity, MR is equal to some M infinity is equal to some M R sufficient large is stabilized. So, so, so that's, uh, that's a question. 
And, uh, and for, for dimension one case, dimension equal to one, we know that r is greater than or equal to five. Then m, say, six is equal to m equal to seven, right? So, uh, so uh, indeed, I mean, so that, that we get a canonical module. And this guy is actually equal to uh, mg bar, right? It's equal to mg bar, the Lee-Mumford commutification. So now the question is that, uh, in particular, for example, even, even in the, even the dimension two case, Gisek proved that every uh, surface, right, minimal, minimal, uh, Minimal surface of general type is actually Charles stable. The case I proved that one. So you have a commodification, but you want to ask if R tends to infinity, it's, uh, it's stabilized. So, so the theorem, so the theorem I wanted to say is that uh, uh, the answer is no. Okay, answer is no. It's no. Okay, so uh, I mean, even for surface, even for surface, for uh, dimension equals two, okay? So, um, so what is the statement? The statement is the following. Okay, so um, let, let me state the May, May, May theorem. Okay, so we say uh, suppose this guy over a smooth curve. So smooth curve. Say it's a KSBA family. So I don't want to introduce uh, the, the the definition KSBA family. But what you think? What you, what, you, what, you, what, you, what you can thinking of? Uh, you think of that uh, uh, outside some finite points of the smooth curve, the fiber is a smooth k ample manifold. So basically, you have that uh, x t k x t is ample. Say smooth for general general t lies in B and. Uh, and uh, uh, what we're trying to say is that, uh, and uh, we can define, okay, for Yuji, Yuji uh, in his talk introduced the, the CM line bundle. So here, uh, we introduce X over B, okay, is uh, less than equal to, um, less than equal to, uh, okay, um, CM, X prime B. Okay. Uh, so so what is X prime? So what we have here is that X restricted to B. Take and we say one point. Okay. For simplicity, is isomorphic to B take away from one point. Okay. So then we have that uh, the 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 CM line bundle. The degree of CM lambda, so CM means the degree of CM lambda over B is less than or equal to any few in, okay, any few in, if it's a KSBA family. And with equality, if, uh, if we assume, if assume X prime is normal, then equality, if and only if, uh, if and only if, if only if chi, uh, X is equal to X prime. So that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's a main theorem. Okay. So okay. So that's that's from the uh, from the uh, minimal model side, a uh, minimal uh, uh, model program side. Now uh, the question we want to answer is uh, uh, related to GIT side, and right? we want to say that uh, the GIT commutation never stabilized. So we, we need a, a statement like a GIT side. Okay. So GIT side, uh, what we have here, same, same kind of thing. Okay, so what we're saying, so for simplicity, for GIT side, we have this, the similar story. We have, say, this guy, again, um, we assume, say, for simplicity, xt, kxt, uh, negative, uh, positive, are uh, smooth, uh, say, except t equals b naught. Okay. I oversimplify the things, but uh, I mean, just think, think of that way. And suppose that, suppose, suppose that uh, um, x t for each t uh, lies in B is asymptotic, uh, asymptotic Charles stable. I 
multiplying. So, so asymptotic Charles theorem means for this pair, you raise r to sufficiently large, you embed them pn. OK, this is asymptotic Charles table. Then uh, we have that uh, cm of x b is less than or equal to cm x prime b, where again, x prime is another feeling such that x should b away from b naught is the same as x prime b should b naught. Yeah, so if, if the central fiber is CM asymptotic stable, it minimizes. It also minimizes. And from GIT, uh, from a minimum model theory, we, all know, we also know KSBA minimizes. OK, so, so that's, uh, that's uh, two main results. OK, from that, then uh, we, we, can, we can give a proof why the, uh, the answer to the first question is no. Because. Uh, and actually, in your, in your theorem, actually, you then. You only need like an infinite. Set. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, uh, actually, we only need an infinite number of not not the, not the really the asymptote. Asymptote usually we start start from hundred, then always stable. But we only need the infinite number of r. It's stable then. Okay, so 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 I give a proof of the, the, the proof of, of the the first theorem. I actually prove of so I call it maybe theorem one. So why why so so this is theorem say three. Now, so suppose you uh, so if x over b is a KSBA family, and suppose that x b not is not asymptotic child, asymptotic child stable. Okay, then that means this family x over b0, uh, b outside b0, exists no asymptotic child feeling. Right? Because um, if it has an asymptotic child feeling, then by this theorem 3, we know it's minimized. And it minimizes, also this kind of minimizes equality if and only if they are the same. But uh, but you already know that uh, the central value is not asymptotic child stable. So that means if you are able to construct such a family, then this, for this family, there is a, so you, when you compare the moduli, each time you re-embed into CPN, the boundary divider, you keep on changing it. You keep on changing it. So it's, uh, it's never stable. I mean, this kind of thing, I mean, this example actually existing. I mean, existing. I mean you construct a surface, a, a smoothing. Uh, of a, uh, uh, a, 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 a KSB surface, surface with a quotient singularity. Order greater than 6, because we know that uh, 6 is coming from uh, it's coming from 2 plus 1 factorial. I mean, that's GIT. I mean, local GIT with calculation, we know that if the singularity, if the singularity, the, um, the multiplicity is greater than n plus 1 factorial, then it cannot be stable. So you, you construct a smoothing of KSB surface. Smoothing, so nearby, it's a, it's a smooth, uh, canonical polarized surface. Uh, definitely, it's a, it's a child stable. Yeah. Oh, multiplicity, sorry. Sorry, multiplicity, sorry. Uh, with the multiplicity. Uh, a quotient singularity with the multiplicity. Great. Uh, uh. That's just the same argument as the triple. Yeah. OK, so, so, so that's probably the, the correct way of writing it. OK, so, so, um, so that's a statement. OK. So, so probably uh, I have like, uh, I'm using another 10 minutes to, to, to give you a rough idea what's going on here. OK, so. Um, Actually, it, it kind of uh, motivated from uh, um, 
one example mentioned in Ian's talk. Uh, uh, I, I think the favorite unstable guy, the Steiner surface, actually. So, um, so actually, so given a, a, a family over B, say, say fiber is n-dimensional, so this is n plus dimensional, flat family over smooth curve. So, and suppose you have a polarization. Okay, so you want to uh, create some a kind of cohomology, cohomological invariant attached to this guy, and the, the cohomology invariant is coming from is the following: C1 of L minus. Uh, so this map I call it pi. Uh, push forward of C1 of uh, push for L into the n plus one. You integrate along x. Okay. Uh, this is a kind of a cohomology invariant because uh, C1 is cohomology. The thing is that this guy independent. So if, uh, if you uh, choose M, say, a line bound over B, and you put it back, and, and you stick in, this invariant remains the same. So what, what is the N, N plus 1? So, so I'm, I'm assuming that this guy is locally free. And the rank is equal to n plus 1. So you assume this is the rank is n plus 1, and you find that you, you, you tense a bound, line bound from downstairs and pull it back, you compute this cohomology invariant, that's remain the same. OK, th this is a, a cohomology invariant. So I mean, in the 86, I guess, 86, uh, Cornova and Harris, right, they prove the following. They say that if, the, if there is a fiber, if there is a fiber, say x, Xb, right, with respect to this L with to S B, is like is child stable. Child stable. And then that's implied that that implies that this this quantity is greater than or equal to zero. So this guy, this guy I call it H. Yeah, okay. So then then, then they, they prove that uh, H X L is greater than or equal to zero. So in other words, I mean, it's kind of like a, a feedback philosophy, right? Positivity implies stability, or stability implies positivity. So you have a fiber stability implies this, uh, this cohomological quantity is positive. So the thing is that uh, um, actually just one. Actually, if, if the family is good, just one fiber is, is good enough. OK. And uh, so, um, so so, so a, a, a natural question will be asking that if uh, uh, there's one fiber is stable, stability really uh, play a role. I mean, that, that, that is actually true. Uh, if, if, the, if, an, if, a, if a, all the fibers are unstable, then that uh, quantity definitely can be negative. That was Ian's example, right? So, uh, the Steiner surface. So basically, um, I, uh, so you have a family over, over P1, right? And each of these guys is just uh, like a F1, right? And this vibration is actually trivial. But the thing is that this line bound is not trivial. This line bound is not trivial. So this family is actually contained in a PE. E is, uh, I mean, I mean, what is E? E is uh, what EM put, put, put on the uh, 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 on the slides, right? O2 plus O2 plus O minus 3 plus O minus 3. You see, the back bundle is not trivial. The back bundle is not trivial, although the the the, the, the vibration is actually trivial. Okay, but then then, then you you calculate the, the, this uh, this uh, this guy and you find this guy is negative. You find this guy is negative. Okay, so 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 we're we're trying to understand why this guy is negative. It turns out, I mean, this this guy can be interpreted as as a GIT weight. It's actually actually. Uh, this is GIT weight. Okay, so 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 that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, why uh, we related. To, I mean, this intersection number related to GIT weight. The stability really, really play a role. So now the thing is that, uh, okay. So in order to uh, uh, in order to prove like uh, theorem three, okay. Uh, we what what we do is uh, we we kind of mimic the construction. Uh, due to uh, uh, Harris and Cornova. So I, I probably introduced a bit of the notion, OK, uh, a bit of notation, OK. So 
Not it is actually, I mean, if you set up the set up, the, so, so basically the following thing. So I, I wanted to say the following, OK. Suppose you have an x inside Pn. Right? Suppose you have a land, one primary subgroup at one Ps. Okay? Then, then you're able to uh, construct a family over B, o over, over P1, such that, that this guy is actually exactly equal to child weight. OK, that's exactly child weight. So, so I mean, there is a construction. OK, I mean, but, but, uh, but the thing is I wanted to say, so what, what do we have over here? Uh, why we have this, uh, the, the CMR models minimized? OK, actually, the, the, the proof is that we prove that this, this is true. OK, we prove this is true. And uh, the next thing I wanted to say is that uh, look at this cohomological invariant. Look at this cohomological invariant. We have that XL, right? For, for, for each a polar family, we have XL. We put a K here, and we let K go to infinity. And the leading term, leading term, so uh, k to the, I forgot, probably n plus 1 or n, I forgot. But that's, that's a cm. OK, so, so if you can achieve this by raising power, k goes infinity. I mean, this, uh, this, uh, this observation was due to, uh, uh, I think, first due to Zhang, Shou Zhang, and also like uh, uh, fine rose, possibly other people as well. But I mean, the thing is that if you're able to show that, then uh, take a limit, you get this. So what the, is x lambda? Say it again. x lambda, that's fine. Oh, x lambda is it given any one parameter in S L N plus 1. You, you are able to construct a family. Just similar like what you're, I mean, you can use your, your blow up construction or using, yeah. Just a by using lambda and the trivia over infinite five. No, the, 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 the fibers, uh, generic fiber are isotrivial, I mean. Right. But the, the, yeah, the, there, I mean, the infinity is a trivial fiber. I mean, is, infinity is trivial? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the zero is the, the test configuration. Oh. It competified. I mean, you, you, yeah. OK. OK. So, so, so everything boils down to show, um, show that if this is true. OK. But I, I want to show that this is true. I mean, this is uh, falling from, so, so, so the slogan here is that, uh, we want to say semi-stable semi replacement decreasing the h. OK, so, so that's, uh, that, that's, uh, that, that's the idea. OK, so uh, OK. So, so what do we have here? Is, is, is the falling? Falling setup, OK. Uh, suppose we have like, uh, uh, suppose we have a I, uh, let's just restrict you to a GLN bundle. A GLN principal bundle over a curve, smooth curve, smooth curve. And uh, of course, SL sitting inside GL, right? OK. And uh, now you want to study a, a, a GIT problem. Say, suppose Z is a, is a projective variety with a polarization, OZ1. And uh, you have uh, SL acting on this. So you can talk about a GIT. You, 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 can, you can talk about GIT thing. Then, I mean, if you have such a vector bundle, you can, uh, this is a principal G bundle. So you can, uh, I mean, right. So you can uh, uh, create such a vibration, right? So, so this is, uh, this I denote by this guy. It's a, it's a fiber. A fiber is just z, and actually you can uh, you can put the total space here. So you get a so basically you get a family of GIT problem. Uh, I mean, I mean each 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 fiber is just a copy of z. Okay, and what you want to do is that for this family GIT problem, you want to create a some cohomological invariant, and this cohomological invariant really detect somehow the stability of each uh, each fiber. Okay, so that's. Uh, uh, that's the idea. Okay, so what do you do here? Is the following? I mean, suppose that uh, 
suppose that uh, we, 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 our family, this O, Z, 1 over B, say uh, it, is, uh, it is inside some P of E. And E, E, E is just a push forward, say push forward of O, Z, 1. Okay? Then what I'm trying to say is that uh, you, you can find an invariant. Invariant is that uh, n plus 1 of uh, n plus 1 in the rank of this guy, uh, c1 of this oz1 minus, uh, minus uh, 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 the c1 of e. So this guy. Uh, you, you cook up a, 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 a kind of a line bundle over the total space of Z. So this is a line bundle over the total space of Z. Over the total space of Z. OK, now what, what are you trying to say? This, this I, I call it H of Z, say. H of Z, OZ of 1. OK? So this is a, this is a, uh, this is a, this is a class over, over Z. Now the thing is that, The thing that, suppose now you have a section. You have a section, S. You have a section of S. Then you can, you can pull back, right? You can pull back this, uh, this line bundle. And integral over B. OK, integral over B. Now the thing is that uh, if, if there is one fiber, so you, you have a section. So let me draw a picture. Okay, let me draw a picture. So this is uh, this is B. So each fiber you have a GIT problem. Okay, you have a GIT problem. So then I suppose you have a one point. Say so suppose B. You have one point. So S of B. So inside the Z, right? Inside Z, it's a stable point with respect to this SL action. Then you'll be able to show that this guy is actually positive. OK. And why this guy is positive? Because, uh, um, because uh, uh, what do you have here is that uh, if, this, if this, this guy is positive, OK, suppose this point is, uh, is, um, it's a, uh, is a stable point. Suppose this, is, is this guy, suppose lies in ZSS. So that means what? That means uh, ZSS, right, OZ1, H0 to the power of k, you have a SL invariant section vanishing, uh, sigma, such as sigma on SB, not equal to 0. OK. Now the thing is that, uh, what is this fiber? OK, so what is this section? Because it's a construction from a principal G bundle, you can think of uh, S is a holomorphic map to Z, which is G, G, G invariant. OK, this is uh, this is a GL equivalent map, Not, right? Because uh, this is a joint bundle for this. Uh, so this is an equivalent map. Now suppose, oh, sorry. OK. Now this section give you a section to OZ1, right? OZK. So you compose this. You compose this, you actually create a section to some certain line bundle. This line bundle has a, has a point, which is non-zero. So that implies that uh, this guy must be uh, non-negative. Now what happens if, if, uh, if you have a point, which is a, so suppose that you have a point, OK, B0, S B0, it lies in the unstable locus. So unstable locus, that means any SL invariant section, this guy is always zero. This is always 0. So if we do semi-stable replacement, you remove this 0. It decreases the degree. So that's, uh, yeah, that's the idea. OK, so yeah. I think we have time for one or two questions. Yeah. So this uh, basically is a finite dimensional problem. Yeah, everything is finite dimensional. Is there a general thing for? I mean, general thing, I mean, of course, I mean, there's a several thing. The thing is that uh, the push forward is infinite, I mean, if it's Hilbert space. Uh, oh, the, the other thing is that, 
uh, I mean, this we don't have infinite dimension setting. Right? GIT is stable. If GIT is stable, we say a point is stable, it's the same as uh, you have an invariant section into not vanish. We don't have infinite dimension setting. A semi stable replacement, I mean, suppose, okay, sup, sup, suppose this point is unstable point. Okay, unstable. So it's unstable, ZUS, right? So you have a section. This is our section. Suppose you have another section. I mean, everywhere else is G equivalent to that guy, but this point is uh, stable. Then you saw, you know, I mean, JIT problem, you can always replace a unstable guy by a semi stable guy. Actually, by a poly stable guy. Oh, yeah, yeah you, you, you replace it, then. Uh, it decreases zero. So it generates generate to a semi stable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Basically, you, you change the limit. You change the limit. I mean, just like a, like a, like a curve degeneration, you change it by the limit manifold, stable guy. Uh -huh. Yeah, semi stable reduction. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and what about the similar argument for the KSPA or? Oh, I mean, I mean, so 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 I mean, so so we we know that this is uh, actually this H gets minimized if everyone is stable. Okay, take a limit. We get CM is minimized, mm -hmm. but if we keep KSPA by uh, by, by the work of uh, uh, Chen Yang and uh, oh, oh sorry, one thing I forgot to mention. This is a joint work with uh, with with Chen Yang, uh, Chen Yang Xu. Okay, so he, in their paper, Xu and uh, Hicken, they construct law canonical closure. They 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 they, they construct the KSP feeling is unique. Not only unique is that uh, the CM degree is minimized, and minimized the minimizer is unique. So we use that one. So yeah. So that's. Uh, okay, I think we should stop yeah. here so again. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, I mean, 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 I mean,